Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Unboxing with Marty. This video, we're going to take a look at Kubuntu 25.04 Linux. It's a really cool distro. I think you're going to enjoy it. So let's get this high level test drive going. Get in your seat, strap yourself in, and let's get going. All right, when you first boot up to Kubuntu uh, 25.04, you're going to be greeted by this uh, welcome screen. And I got to tell you, I really like seeing these welcome screens when you're uh, exploring a new uh, distro. It gives you a really good start. It says simple by default, and in my opinion, it really is. I mean, things are where they should be. Take your time with this uh, welcome screen. Here, for example, when you hover your mouse over these icons, it gives you a description. So it's kind of like a built-in tutorial. Oh, and by the way, if you enjoy this video and the videos on this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button. When you subscribe, you're helping this channel grow and it's appreciated. Here you go. Powerful when needed. A little more information. Manage software. You can see here, Discover is kind of like your app store. A little uh, information about anonymous usage information. And welcome to Kubuntu Friendly Computing. And the message on the final screen is enjoy it. Probably the best thing to do just to get started with this high-level test drive is let's first take a look at these icons here You got these icons down here in the lower left. So let's take a look at the first one This is your application launcher. You're gonna have quite a few applications here that uh, Are packed with the operating system. So let's just take a look here. You got all the applications now we could Scroll through this and look at them, but it'd be a little overwhelming I don't think you would get a, the full grasp of what's available. So what we'll do is we're gonna take a look at the categories So here we go. You've got development You've got games. You can get an idea of what comes with it. Graphics, help. Want to point out that here's the Welcome Center. You saw that screen when we first booted up. If you ever want to return to Welcome Center, here it is. Internet. Uh, you can see Firefox is the uh, web browser that comes with this operating system. Let's see, you got uh, multimedia. Office Suite, this is your Office Suite, uh, you know, for your office productivity. Uh, this is nice here. You got Libra Office Writer. And here you go. Just a quick glimpse of it so you can get an idea of what it looks like. We're going to shrink that back down. We're going to close it out. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else we got here. We got Science and Math. You got System. Plenty here to look at. We're, we'll go back up here so we can get a better look. We'll slide slowly down. There you go. Your System. And here's your Utilities. Got it. So now let's take a look at what's next over here. This is good. System settings. Let's go here. Now, up here at the top, you've got quick settings, and everyone always wants to play with the wallpaper, so let's take a look at it. This is the wallpaper that comes with it. Uh, let's just take a look here. We'll just scroll a little bit south so you can get an idea. you got quite a few, uh, you got quite a good selection of wallpaper here, so you've got a lot to work with here. So now let's go back up, and we're going to do one more thing. Get the... Uh, Quick settings, and let's take a look at the global themes. And there you go. You got some choices there for a global theme. Kind of nice. Let's uh, slide down here. This is what a lot of people are going to ask about. Here's about the system. So kind of gives you guys uh, an idea of what's operating under the hood. So here you've got Kubuntu 25.04. Going to say this whenever you're exploring a new operating system. Always go to that operating system's web page just to get to know a little bit more about it. So here we are at the Kubuntu web page. Uh, they got a little tour here you can take if you're interested. So you can just scroll through and get to know the operating system before you download it. Always a good thing to do. Uh, here at the downloads, I want to point this out to you. So right here, this is the one that we're working with right now. It's Kubuntu 25.04. Uh, want you to see this here. Uh, this release is supported with security and maintenance updates until January of 2026. So less than a year to go, but that's the one we're playing with today. We're exploring, but there are others to pick from. You've got uh, Kubuntu 24.10. Uh, it's going to be supported with security and maintenance updates until July of 2025. So that's just right around the corner. Don't worry. You've got another choice here. You've got Kubuntu 24.04.2 LTS. That LTS stands for right here. It says long-term support. And this one, my friends, is... You're going to get supported with security and maintenance updates until April of 2027. So 
uh, think about that. You know, might help you decide what you want to download, install if you're interested in uh, Kubuntu. So let's just close this out. Uh, let's see what else here. Oh, and over here, you've got the, uh, let's open this up. This is the uh, Discover, it's kind of like your app store. So you go here to look for the apps you want to find. You know, if you want to find some, see if it's available here, try games. So you got a selection of games here. And again, there's your, uh, uh, like I said, it's nice right here. It pops right up here, it's Discover. This is your app store. So I'm going to close this out. You know, I'm also going to close this one out as well. So then let's go here. Dolphin is your file manager. There you go. Kind of nice. So you can at least look at your file manager. That's nice to get around. Desktop. Something I really enjoy with Linux distros is playing with the uh, or exploring the uh, navigating capabilities. So I spent a little time playing here. Uh, ran across some uh, uh, navigating capabilities I wanted to share with you. And, you know, in this part of the video, if you guys... Uh, know of some navigating uh, tips, please share it in the comments section below. I'd be really interested. So let's just get started. So uh, what I'm going to do is here is I'm going to go ahead and just open up this app. Let's get this one opened. We're going to open another. And if some of you who subscribe to my channel already kind of know where I'm going with this, so I'm kind of loading up the uh, desktop uh, real estate. So I've got four apps in here, just uh, waiting for the web browser to load. Here we are. So first hand, I can navigate here. I'm using a Windows uh, keyboard. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key and hit the tab a number of times. Watch this. You can see how I can navigate. Obviously, I'm going to go through my apps. There you go. So I want to tap, tap, tap. There you go. There you go. So obviously, this is one way to navigate by using the uh, Alt tab key. Right, I'm not going to stop there. All right, so here I'm looking at this desktop. I've got these uh, four apps open. I just want to see how I can line up these windows here. So I'm going to take this one and watch this. I'm going to hit the corner up here. There you go. That's kind of nice. I'm going to take this one, hit the corner down here. So now here you can see I'm using 25%, 25% or a quarter, quarter of the real estate. I'm going to take the web browser and I'm going to hit here in the center to the side and look at that. Nice, right? So now I'm using quarter, quarter and a half. Or I could take this clip it up there and I can get to this one and I got this one and I can take this one and slide it down here and there you go so once again now I'm using 25% uh, 25 25 25 25 of the uh, real estate here each app is uh, getting one quarter of the uh, desktop um, again you can still if you wanted to you can do the alt tab tab to navigate through them if you like just something to take a look at kind of fun right all right, this is some kind of fun navigating. I do like this. So what I'm going to do here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and load up these apps here because I want to load up another four again. Uh, let's just click on these, let them load. Here we go. And let's open up this one. And let's open up this one. The web browser, of course. So here we are. All right, so if you take your mouse here, see the mouse pointer? Let's take it all the way to the upper left here. See that? Look at this. Look what just happened. Now, what we're going to do is you could do a couple of things. You could do this. And if you wanted to uh, use Desktop 2 here, just drag this up there. There you go. Now using Desktop 2. If you want to, let's, uh, let's do that one more time. I'm going to hit the plus, and I'm going to drag one up there. Nice, right? But you don't have to hit the plus. Check this out. I'm just going to take the web browser. No, you know what? Yeah, I will take the web browser. See right here? And I'm going to slide it up here. Just drag it up into the plus. Check it out. Now we have four desktops. So what I'm going to do here is click here. Now, how do you navigate? Well, of course, you could do this. You could go here in the upper left, click on that one, click here. You can get to that. Got it. See, that's one way to do it. Or another way, and here what I want you to see, you know what? I want to do this. Let's go here. I want to use this one. All right, so there you go. Now you can see down here, you can see there are the four desktops right here. And this one here, the second one here, is the one we're looking at. We'll go back and look so you can see it here. Right there is the second one, desktop two. Now I can move it around like that, but this is going to be the spoiler. So let's watch carefully. See right down here? See this right here? I'm going to take this and you can see it moving back and forth like that, right? So you can kind of see how this one is the... Uh, Desktop that we're looking at, you can tell because it's blue. So again, click here if you wanted to take a look at number three. Click here if you want to look at number four. Click here if you want to go to number one. Click here if you want to go to number three. You get the idea. You can just bounce around. 
Another thing you could do here, now check this out. Again, you saw this. See how it's moving down there? Right down here. I right, will do it again. There you go. You can see that. So check this out. I'm going to take this. Watch this. Desktop 2 is empty. But let's go to desktop 1. Now we've just dragged it in so we have it there. It's kind of nice, right? Let's try this one more time. Hold on. I'm going to take this one. There you go. Check it out. So now we have three. You can do the Alt tab to see them. You get the idea. So I just thought that was something kind of neat to add in there for navigation. Uh, now, if you guys are watching this video and you know other navigating tips, tricks, let me know. Be sure to put them in the comments section below. I'd be really interested in them. Uh, so I'll tell you what, let me clear this out. Well, I'll tell you what, that's probably going to wrap up this video. Just a high level test drive of Kubuntu. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and the videos on this channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button. When you subscribe to this channel, you're helping this channel grow, and I really do appreciate it. Uh, likes are always good, and, you know, I really appreciate those comments. I appreciate the suggestions, and as always, uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day.